welcome to Breckenridge and welcome back to another video or welcome if you're new here. I'm Clara. I live in Charleston, but I'm actually here in Colorado. Very out of breath, but I'm here on a friend's trip. This is like an annual trip that me and some friends, friends that I actually made when I lived in like the DC area. So it's almost like a reunion of sorts too. Um, but this is a trip that we've taken last year, this year, we're going to take it next year. We're making it like an annual thing, but there's six of us here right now. Everyone's upstairs. We're about to get some pizza. A couple more people are joining through the week. So there's going to be eight people total. We got a ski in, ski out house this year I'm so excited and to address the elephant in the room in case you noticed it throughout the video I did chip my front I think it's called an incisor like this front tooth last night it's never gonna happen at a good time I've had bonding for like 15 years so it gets fragile and it breaks and it always happens at like literally the worst time so I chipped a tooth which means I should probably take off this like coarse hat I'm looking a little hillbilly but how cute is this I got this in the airport today I literally got off the plane in Denver and went into a store and bought that because I saw it welcome back to another video I'm so excited this is one of my favorite videos because I personally will re-watch it throughout the year to relive this trip it's just such a fun time so I'm excited to take you with me I'll share where we stayed everything like that and if you want to see like the details from last year's trip it was kind of different because we weren't in a ski and ski out um but that vlog with like the same group is up on my youtube channel too so this is my little airport outfit i wore my jeans and my uggs since that saved me some weight and i guess i should unpack soon let me show you my room situation the bedroom that i got is this little sunken down like den bedroom basement situation split level i don't really know what you call this but it's kind of cool very cozy got all my luggage here i need to unpack hang some stuff up, like I can hang my my gear. I'm not like a super big skier. I should say that at the beginning of the vlog. I'm not like really good at skiing. I have a lot of fun, but I'm not good. I did bring my little Ray-Ban glasses that have the camera in the side, so I'm gonna try and film some actual footage skiing. We'll see how that works out. Um, But yeah, don't expect much. Anyways, this room has its own bathroom, so that's super nice. Shower. And I'm sure in the morning, this is gonna be an excellent view. Some of the group is going to pick up pizza and some of us stayed back because like we didn't all need to go to do that. So I'm gonna take a little time to unpack like I usually do. I love unpacking when I'm in an Airbnb or a hotel or anything. Honestly, for longer than a couple days, like longer than three days, I'll definitely at least unpack a couple things. So best time to do it is when you first get in because then you can, you know, reap the benefits of unpacking throughout your whole trip. And I almost forgot. I literally packed my favorite tequila because I wasn't sure if I could get it here. And lo and behold, it was at the local liquor store all right tequila is in the freezer back to business i am showered moisturized attempting to be hydrated and so excited for tomorrow tomorrow's our first skiing day i think the plan is to get up early i have some work to do on my computer actually that i thought i was going to be able to do on the flight but it just didn't work out like service and wi-fi and everything just wasn't wasn't in the cards so i want to wake up early tomorrow and get some work done and then we're going to go skiing and this is a ski and ski out place so i think it's going to be like super easy to like come back for lunch or like take breaks or I don't know, I'm excited. But tomorrow we're skiing, Tuesday we're skiing, and we're either skiing Wednesday or Thursday. We're doing three days. So one day is just gonna be like exploring the town, but we're doing three days of skiing this year, and I'm really excited about that. We all bought like the three day epic pass, um, like back when it went on sale. So that's how like all the lift tickets and stuff are factored in for this trip. Then we always rent skis from, I think it's called like Base Mountain Sports. That's the place that we went last year, and they were phenomenal. So we picked those up tonight, so we're all ready to go in the morning. Got my coffee, ate my pancakes, and I'm about to get ready. Hey, today's gonna be such a fun day. Christy Howard's actually in Breckenridge right now, and I texted her, um, and we talked about potentially meeting up and like her group coming over and like hanging out here. I should probably text her again, um, but I think this is their last night, so I wouldn't be surprised if they, you know, want to stay in and like pack their own stuff up. And you know, the last night of a trip, I feel like you're kind of over it in some ways, so went upstairs i was working a little bit on my computer the others made breakfast so we had pancakes we had eggs we had fruit 
I contributed the coffee But I think some people are gonna try and go out like right now because they're like a little bit more avid I think it's only like 8 o'clock But some people are probably gonna head out right now And I will be about an hour after that because I still have to get ready do a couple more things But this is better than last year last year. We were getting on the slopes at like noon <laughs> So this year is way better already because we're up and at them and we didn't drink last night Which I think was like kind of a faux pas last year like we all got here we had our little reunion and then I think we had some drinks the first night which I think was like the wrong way to do it but everyone is in a good mood we're all feeling good the hardest decision I'm gonna have to make today is wearing my black ski suit or my cream colored ski suit I'm gonna switch it up. Maybe I'll check the weather because I do think one is warmer than the other. It's snowing a little. It wasn't even supposed to snow today. It's, a, it's such a good day. I don't think in the history of my YouTube channel anyone has ever FaceTimed me when I answer them. I think I've decided on the white suit today. <laughs> Suited up. Got my camera and my phone on my little tether to put in my coat pocket. And I will take you with me. Look at Ripperoo. My cheeks look a little red and I don't know if that's sunburn, windburn, the hot tub, but hopefully that's fine. But we just got back from the mountain. We went in the hot tub a little bit, decided we're gonna go out for dinner and now we're just all like waiting around for other people to finish showering. We're kind of doing like a shower rotation situation. Um, but we're gonna go out to eat tonight. We're gonna go to the market really quickly to get like a toothbrush, deodorant, like things that people forgot. More juice for margaritas. We didn't buy enough at Whole Foods. So we're just waiting around. Thankfully, I have another excuse to wear my moon boots. I freaking love these things. I got these for my trip to Montana. And I'm so happy I got to break them out again. Ooh. I could go for a poppy. Cheers. Remember, you gotta lock it on the takeaway. Sugar is you also have to take it up now. It's mine. It's mine. Yeah, yeah, they go, they go fast. It's like the first time I met. Um. Good. How are you? Oh my gosh. It snowed so much. If I didn't mention it already, the car that we rented for this trip, it's a Tahoe. Last year we rented a Chevy Suburban. This year a Tahoe. We just go on Turo and you can sort by like what cars are available on certain dates and by the number of people that it seats and stuff like that and mileage. So we just picked a Tahoe this year and it's been really great. We've been thinking about this little breakfast burrito spot since last year. And we are trudging through the snow to get to it. So those are open. Yeah, someone's in there. Hey guys, how you doing? Hi, good, good. How, how are you? Are you? Good. Look at this burrito. So I know I'm and it comes with it. maple good. sriracha. So freaking good. Yeah. All right, y'all, jump scare in three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> it's so freaking cold today that I'm pulling out all the stops, which means my little hat situation. I think I can pull this up over my mouth too. Yeah, I'm gonna be so thankful I have this on, but I look like a dweeb and I'm wearing pigtails today. So I should probably braid these, but whatever. We're just gonna go with it. I look like I'm about to go like rob a bank. Wow, my eyes look good though. Wearing half days again today, just like a different set. And I have so many layers on, like underneath all of this, but it's like negative, I think it's like negative four. This is so funny. You can't tell if I'm a man or a woman. Belt to give some shape. Oh my gosh, I have like my canned 
bed in here. Let me show you my little drink of choice that I packed yesterday. I didn't actually drink it yesterday. You can get these little things at the liquor store. Margarita one and I got an espresso martini one. But I'm gonna pop it over there so I can belt. I just can't go over that this is how I look. Then I got my gloves. I've got some hand warmers. I don't think I'm gonna bring my vlog camera today. I'm just gonna bring the little sunglasses that I was filming on yesterday. Hopefully you liked that footage. But then again, I'm also going like five miles per hour down the mountain so I don't really know if any of the footage I'm getting is, you know, riveting. Here's the outfit for today. Hey Milo, hi. And you wanna see how close this Airbnb is to where we get on? Right through there, where you can see those skis setting up. That's the slope, so we just have to walk over there every day. It's so nice. Winter. Ready. Back in for the day and about to make some food. Trying to make some little makeshift ramen pho situation with these five ingredients. Mr. Milo can tell I'm cooking steak. How freaking cute is this guy? I want him. This looks pretty good. I don't know how it's gonna taste. They think they're here, us have our own little. And we I am on margarita duty. Cassie is on pasta sauce duty. So I'll show you my little ratio. It is a one part tequila, one part lime juice, and I cheat and I get this stuff, and then one part fruit juice. We have pomegranate and mango tonight. I'm making six, so this is gonna be a big batch. The only big thing I can find to mix in is the literal blender. So this is what I'm using, even though it's not actually getting blended. And my cup measurement is going to be like my one part. So again, it's one part, two parts, one part. Need to make a little more. And I got limes for the sole purpose of garnishing. I will say these are very sour, but that's how I like them. So maybe oh. add like agave, honey, maple syrup, something like that. If you want more of like a sweet one. Table is set with a gallon of water and paper towels. And Cassie and I are almost done our little dinner spread. We've got some bread in the oven. I'm gonna cut that up right here. Some meatballs that are in the oven too. Pasta, homemade sauce, and Cassie's making this little salad situation. And I just realized she's been watching New Girl <laughs> with an AirPod in the whole time and I didn't realize it. Are you ready? Put this over here. You I'm know. Ready. Three, two, one, go. pretty much spent the entire morning and afternoon downtown eating, drinking, shopping, had a really good time. I actually bought two dresses, funny enough. I bought like two summery midi maxi dresses for Charleston, which is kind of ironic. Let me grab them. From this Valley Girl boutique. They're both Z Supply brands, so I can link them on my LTK. But the first one's just this like knit maxi. It's so funny that I bought these in Colorado on a skiing trip, but hey, it was cute and I needed some stuff like this just to wear on like a daily basis in Charleston when it starts to get warmer. And this is the second one. Just like a textured bodice and then long flowy bottom, but it's lined. Like it's double lined and there's like layers to it and stuff. That's what we did with our morning and then we came back here and midday 
played more cards. We've been playing this game, let me see if it's up here, called Dutch Blitz. Some of the people on the trip brought it with them. These cards have like little Amish symbols on them because it's like an Amish card game. Um, but it's really fun and you can play it with between like two and eight people and I feel like it's hard to find a card game that you can play with that many people if you're doing like a game night or something. So all that to say is I've already ordered a set and it's probably gonna be waiting for me by the time I get home because I found it on Amazon. So I'll link that too, it's a really fun game. Anyways, that's what we've been doing today. We're actually gonna head back downtown for dinner. Now the full group of eight is here and we don't have enough food to like truly cook a dinner like we did last night. So we're gonna go to RMU, which is a place that I briefly showed in like the montage beginning part of this day's vlog, but they weren't actually serving food. So we stopped in there to get a drink, but we are actually gonna go back tonight to get food because they have like grilled cheeses, soup. It's just like a very casual vibe. Hoping that we can get eight people in there, but I think it's like a first come first serve thing. So even if we have to wait at the bar and like get another drink, it'll be fun. But that's what we've been doing today. I love finding little souvenirs like this that I can use on the daily. And I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of those in Charleston. Might make another drink before we go out. We've been sipping on some Prosecco and playing that game. And if you're curious, I've been losing. All right, just kidding. I think I'm gonna have this poppy that I forgot I got. I mean. <laughs> you can't have cheese. You can have cheese. I can have a little cheese. Oh, you can have cheese. <laughs> <laughs> crooked but I have you up on the towel rod I just came back earlier than the rest they went to Eric's that like fun arcade bar that we were talking about when we were walking down to the grilled cheese place but randomly I just started getting like really like hot cold chills feverish like sore throat I just out of nowhere started feeling really bad if you know me then you know I rushed home to get my wellness formula and I have one of those like liposomal vitamin C packets too because as soon as you start to feel bad, you have to take three of these and they taste horrible. Don't yell at me once you buy them and you see how bad they smell and taste. They're so bad, but they work really well. Oh my gosh, I can smell them from here. And if you get them on board, as soon as you start to feel sick, then they, they'll like knock it out. I'm back in for the night. I'll probably go back out to pick the others up, but I'm taking my wellness formula, chugging some vitamin C and this whole thing of water because I cannot afford to be sick on this flight home. That'll be miserable. Good morning, it's Thursday and I feel so much better. I'm still gonna take wellness formula throughout the day, but so glad I came home early and had that because I feel like I would have been down for the count today if not. And today is our last day of skiing. So I have all my stuff laid out and I just took some time to clean up the bathroom, took some time to organize and do an inventory of like some smaller stuff. I have a load of light laundry that I need to put in and I'm already running a dark load. So I'm not gonna come home with a lot of laundry. And I'm back to wearing my cream half day set today because the others said it was easier to spot me on the mountain so figured I'd wear this one since like everyone's in black this one draws attention but like not in a bad way got some pancakes yogurt and granola fruit and a coffee all changed I'm just doing like less base layers today because it's actually pretty warm. I think it's like 40 degrees. I linked this one on my LTK with all my sizing details too because when I was ordering from them, I wasn't sure what size to get. So if you're interested in buying from this Half Days brand, go to my LTK because like all my sizing breakdown is there. All right, I don't want to jinx myself, but I'm kind of killing the blues. Had so much fun, went down a couple blues, so I'm very proud of myself. Um, not everyone's back yet, it's only three. I'm sorry you have to listen to me heavy breathing. But I thought I would come home and shower since I'm pretty over it now. This is like the third day skiing, so I am done. But I'm gonna let my hair air dry a little bit and I'm gonna sit and catch up on a little work on my computer while I wait for the others. And I'm not sure what our plan is for this evening. And I've got Milo keeping me company. Is this not the prettiest dog you've ever seen? What are you doing? <laughs> He's so gentle and so sweet too. You want that? Okay. We're about to leave for dinner and Cassie is lining us up some green tea shots because she packed one of these and we didn't use it the whole trip. So we actually have two, but I think this one was on the wall. This one's part of the Airbnb. Three, two, one. 
We finished our little card game tournament and we've all gone back to our rooms to pack up. So bittersweet. I'm excited to go home, especially now that I live in Charleston. I like look forward to going home when I'm on vacation, but it's bittersweet because I don't get to see these people a lot. I'm leaving this town the same way I came in. Literally same outfit and everything, except I swapped the jeans for leggings because I'm not doing another travel day in jeans. If I can find it, I'm gonna try and find like the terminal and the spot in the airport that I bought this hat from on the way in. Maybe get something else, but then also because people were asking. Um, and I guess like Denver is like a pretty big hub, so there might be a chance that you could find yourself there. So I'm gonna try and find where I got this little hat at the beginning of the vlog. But the plan is to just get on the road back to Denver. Probably gonna stop for another breakfast burrito at that place that I love. Um, I feel like we didn't do like a ton of eating out in terms of like giving new recs, but my favorite places are that RMU grilled cheese place. If you come here, you have to go there the breakfast burrito place the seven place cafe those are two spots that are 100 percent clara approved in breckenridge i will say that i feel like the food scene here is a little lacking like every dinner place we went like it was okay um but we also were at the mercy of places that could take like a giant group so i can't really judge maybe if i was just here on a trip with like a couple of girlfriends or something we could find more places to eat that could hold a smaller group but i don't really have any good like dinner group recommendations here um so if you're coming with a big group I would plan to get some groceries and cook in because I think that's the best situation. But anyways, heading out to the airport, got everything packed up. And funny enough, I posted that new card game I'm obsessed with, Dutch Blitz, on my story last night. And Mary swiped up and said this is like a huge thing in the homeschool community. So maybe that made someone else laugh in this vlog if you saw that card game too. And that's how you know it. I did a horrible job at giving a tour of the Airbnb, but there were some bedrooms down here. And then Hot Tub was through this door. And then it was like a split level situation. So up these stairs, we had a big living room and a fireplace that worked with this little balcony. And then up these stairs was the kitchen and dining room. Bye little Breckenridge. I don't know if we'll be back next year. I think we might try a different little ski town. Actually, speaking of restaurants, everyone says that place is good. Rootstock, it's just very expensive, like $50 entree type of expensive. But I love Breckenridge. I think we're gonna take a couple years off and go to like Vail or maybe Aspen, I don't know. But this is such a good place for a group trip.